Good evening everybody, I'm Jeremy with Survival Showcase. Tonight we're taking a look at the standard Mountain Light 2. It's been about three years, almost three years since I purchased these boots. And I gotta tell you, I'm still loving them. You can see they have, I've pulled them out of the closet probably about a couple weeks ago and I've been wearing them around. I haven't really done much with them since last season. Uh, they're in kind of a poor condition right now, but uh, we're gonna take them, we're gonna make them a lot better than this. So, you can see on here, there's uh, like a little bit of uh, wear in the leather right there. Uh, right through here is a wear spot too. It takes a lot of abuse right there. And the toes naturally, because they, that's the first thing that's gonna strike something. And for me, since I use one boot to take off the other boot, you can see there's damage there. Pull these laces out. And you can see that they're really dusty here. So that all has to be taken care of. Um, around the edge of these boots and through here, that all needs to be cleaned out. We're gonna brush all that out. Basically, I'm gonna make these boots look really, really, really nice again. They're pretty rough right now, but uh, we'll make them look really nice. Thing to do, you pull out your laces. Um, you can see right there, the uh, eyelets have been rusting a little bit, so they've uh, put some rust on there. You may wanna clean them up a little bit if you get a chance to. But uh, you want to inspect them and make sure that there's no frays in the laces. That's a big thing that you, you don't want to be tightening them up and then bust out your lace. That's no good. Inside these boots, they've been keeping up pretty well. There's no wear. I'll take out uh, the Airthotic, which is still in really good condition too. I use these in my boots. But down inside the boot, they've been holding up awesome. There's no wear in there whatsoever. You can see back in there, back in on the heel. But there's no real wear wear on the heel. Like it hasn't worn through any of the stitching or anything like that or the material that's in there. It's held up excellent. Uh, there's a little bit of a balling, a little bit of debris and stuff in there. Like uh, just whatever your foot brings into the boot and gets stuck in there, it's basically what's in there. So how they've held up overall, I've been really impressed. Uh, the stitching, there's been no problems with the stitching whatsoever on these boots. Uh, you might see like a little fray, like this little fray thing right here, which is nothing. That's just, just a piece of the material. Um, but the, the stitching is held up excellent. Uh, the eyelets, I don't see any tearing or anything like that around those. They've held in there really well. The leather's held up really well, so you can tell it's a really high quality leather that they use on these boots. Um, these these hooks at the top, they're still in the same condition. You can pull on them and they don't bend or anything like that. So I don't have them bent in from hitting anything and I don't have them pulled out either. So all these little eyelets, they look to be in excellent condition. That's a good thing just to check over, make sure your boots are holding up. Um, no rips or tears along through here. Uh, these are Gore-Tex boots, so I haven't noticed my feet getting wet. Now I don't really get soaked in these boots, but I, I do use them through the winter time. So I'll be able to find out then whether they're holding up that way or not. The tread on the bottom of these boots is starting to get low right in this area. That's where I'm really heavy and I tend to pivot on my foot as probably most people do. This boot here still has about, I'd say there's a good eighth of an inch on the lowest tread there. The other ones are still pretty tall around the outside. They're pretty tall still and pronounced. Uh, even the heel is still really, it's, it's actually better than I thought it would be. So it's held up really well. It's just this here, when you turn and you pivot and you grind on cement and pavement, it, it's naturally, it's gonna wear, so. But I'm really impressed how the rest of the tread's held up because it hasn't, even on the sides up here, which does get the pivot and turning on cement and that, it's still held up really well. So that's that boot. This boot here, same thing all around the edges. You know, I've got uh, just, just some wear back here on the heel where I've used one boot to take off the other. This boot, not so much, because I don't use it. It's one to usually use the toe of it on the rear of this one. So the toe of that one, yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't see any real big damage. Just scuffs on the front, but that's not from taking off the boots. The eyelets on here all seem to be in really good condition. The only thing is that they've rusted a little bit. A little bit of rust in there. So you could, you could possibly, at three years, you may want to just buy new laces and lace them up anyways, or wash those laces and see how they come out. 
but uh, overall like there's no pulling or stretching or ripping or tearing of the leather so again high quality leather which is amazing um, around the top here where it's going to wear around your ankle on both boots it looks to be really fine too again on this side here there's no tearing whatsoever a piece of material there but it's, it's not a piece of defect or anything like that yeah, like right in those eyelets if you can see like there's no no pulling or anything on those like take one like this here for instance it's going to see a lot of pull because that's the first natural d-ring eyelet and it's perfect no ripping or tearing in there and these hooks at the top they'll take quite a bit of abuse as well and they're perfect both sides so these were the uh, Danner Mountain Light 2 um, five inch tall brown uh, the part number was a 30800 and they're a men's double E and they are Gore-Tex very very comfortable boots I love wearing these things you know I've done other Danner videos you can check those out in the other videos again inside of this one here um, our Aerothotic has had a little more wear on this side, so it's, it's actually got a little crack in it. That's okay though, that's no big deal. And again, really, really, really clean in there. No wear whatsoever on any of the parts of the back. The stitching is 100%, the boot material is 100%. There's no, no spot where it's wearing through. And that goes for the same up at the front. Um, where the ball of your foot would be. I don't know if you can see it into that section up there. Down, down there, I guess. But uh, it's, it's excellent too, there's no wear through. It's got wear marks in there, but that's just, you know, naturally from your foot sliding around in the boot. And actually, if I put my hand in here, I can feel the ridges where, where each individual toe sits almost. That's how well broken in these are. These are comfortable now. I do remember when I first bought these, they were really difficult. They were really hard to break in. Uh, one thing you want to do is you want to get uh, some type of a moisturizer for your leather. And uh, Danner does sell this. And you put it on your boots and it makes breaking in a lot easier for them. So they have product over on their site. So make sure if you're buying a set of these, check out their site or the retailer where you're buying them from and ask them if they've got something to help you break in these boots because that will definitely make them feel a lot better. This one here for the tread on the bottom is a little more war. This is my right boot and yep, that's probably the way that I would put it the most is on my right foot. But again at the back, like we've got tons of tread all the way around. The side on this one here, right in here is wore a bit more than the other boot too. Put both of them up there so you can see. You can definitely see that right boot is wore just a touch more, not a lot, but it is, it is noticeably wore more. Around the backs, the only thing where there's any kind of problem where they're starting to show really like a little bit of marks is right here. And that's due to me using the toe of the boot to pull this one off. You can see I, I've, I've hit there and then I pull down on this and it's separated. There's like little separations, but it hasn't separated the rubber from the cushy sole part right in here, that foam part. It's just, it's broken a bit at the back. So over time that may may break down but I, I mean we're at three years now with these boots that's pretty darn good and if they get really bad I'll send them back for a resole that's the nice advantage to these boots is once you have them broken in and you keep them really nice and everything if you wear out the bottoms really bad you just send them back and Daryl put a new sole on them for a price of course but it's worth doing okay so that's my uh, basically my almost three year review of my Danner uh, Mountain Light Browns, five inch Browns. And uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, follow along and share. Thanks a lot.